I was looking at your face. I was like, oh, if that was me, I would have been I, crying I, by now. I couldn't cry. That, that that's why you're not coming. <laughs> Dada, ye mate wanna obey o. Dada, ye mate wanna obey o. She's not used to Ghana sun. No, I'm not. Yeah. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have something very, very special for you guys. Like honestly, when she's busy, I am busy. When I'm busy, she's busy. So finally, we are here today. Um, to have a little chit chat. Some of you guys have sent me some questions to ask her, so we're just gonna have a little chit chat. Um, yeah, so if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And today I'm actually so, oh, blah, 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 the words are not coming. <laughs> I'm so excited today because I have Miss Star. And I'm so so excited. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you welcome so much. always. <laughs> so guys, anyone who doesn't know Stella, I will let her introduce herself, okay? But she is no, you actually introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> so my name is Stella Chanelli. I'm um, a travel YouTuber based in Ghana. I trap I do um, vlogs about Ghana and beyond and so um, come join my family and see what. Uh, come, 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 come. Yeah, join yeah, the family. yeah, yeah. Go, 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 yeah. go. I'm gonna put her handles um, in the video for you guys to follow her. Mm -hmm. She has great content. So, like, like she said, she's a travel vlogger. She goes to amazing, amazing places. Um, and aside that, she's such an amazing person. Honestly, Aww. she's really, really nice. Just look at her. Very pretty, smiling. You know. Just as she she appears on camera. I'm That's trying to get my smile as broad as she is. She has the most beautiful smile. Anyway, guys, we are here today to ask Stella about her traveling, about, you know, the itty gritty stuff. You know, some of them she may answer, some of them she might not answer. So just be prepared. Okay, okay I'm ready. So, welcome. Thank you so Again. much for having me. Again, thank you. Thank you for coming on. So, as we said, Stella is a travel vlogger and we wanted to, some of you guys wanted to know about how she does it, okay? So one of the questions I had was, where was the most amazing place you've ever visited? In Ghana. In Ghana, yeah. Let's Ghana. start with Ghana. Okay. So I think um, the most amazing place I've visited was recently which are um, people who take sanctuary. Oh, I, I have never, you. yes, I have never, I have never seen people who take us before. Yeah. And I hear they're like dangerous animals. So I was really looking forward to seeing them because um, there were there was little information about um, people who take us being in Ghana. So mm. I was super excited when I heard that mm. they are people who take us in Ghana. So I think that's the most beautiful thing I've seen. Yeah. Most especially because I saw them in their natural habitat and most of the time when you see them they are like on tv yeah. world, swimming and mm. all that but this time i got to see them with face my own face. eyes <laughs> so i was like oh my god yeah was so surreal so that i would say is the most beautiful yeah. i have seen in ghana yeah yeah i love hippos but i think maybe because yeah, of their size, size people yeah. get, they you know. look so chubby but guys yeah. they are so dangerous isn't it? <laughs> they are very very dangerous yeah, yeah. Wow, that's good. So somebody wants to know, as, aside, I know you've traveled outside of Ghana. Yes. As, 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 aside Ghana, where else have you been? In the, like, uh, the other country. Yeah, the other country, internationally. So I have been to Nigeria, I've been to Togo, I've been to Singapore, I've been to Romania. I've Singapore. Been to, yeah, wow. Singapore is very beautiful. Yeah. I've been to Indonesia, specifically Bali. I've been to... Um, Again. I've been to Kenya. Wow. Yeah, I think to... Bali is a place a lot of people like to go to, isn't it? Is it yeah. like the honeymoon kind of like romantic? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one of those honeymoon destinations, isn't it? Why yeah. you've been to places. Yes. And so yeah. yeah, I think yeah, and then um Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> Dubai. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So Nigeria. Nigeria. Did I mention Nigeria? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I saw that vlog actually. Yeah. So where would be your next? 
information. Okay, yeah. so I'm planning on going to Cote d'Ivoire next. Oh, yeah. I want to make some of Oh, I check it. Yeah. I had that last night, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so there's this place where I also have it at Osu. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah, big. that's that's where I went to. Yeah. Wow. I check it. It's crazy. Okay, so what would you, since we're talking about food, what, what's your favorite food? Like, Ghanaian dish. Yeah. It used to be yam and kontomu. Hey, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Yeah, like it's good. Kontomu. Looks like fufu has come to take over. Oh. So even though um yam and kontomu is my favorite, um I'm obsessed with fufu. Yeah. And I don't know where from that fufu. obsession. Yeah. <laughs> so I would say fufu is my new favorite. Your new favorite. Maybe yeah. in the next yam, month it will change again. Yeah. But yam and kontomu stays undefeated. Has uh, no, no, no. Yeah. If you eat yam and kontomu, my dear, yeah. you are the real MVP. Yeah. Yam and kontomu, <laughs> that's my favorite, honestly. With egg oh. and some oh, fish tuna. Oh, oh, ah. oh, right now, my mouth is watering. Right. Yeah, that's one of the. If you've not had yam and kontomu, what are you even doing? Like, are you even Ghanaian? Even people who are not Ghanaian eat yam and kontomu, but yeah, yeah, that's one of the delicious foods. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, um, when you're traveling, I know sometimes traveling can be expensive. You have to buy a hotel, your transport, your quite a lot of things comes into travel. How do you budget? You know, like how do you decide? Okay, I'm going here. I know the amount of money I have. Uh, I'm gonna go with the amount of money and choose a, a place that's going to accommodate that amount of money. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So um, initially, when I started YouTube, it was uh, basically. Um, Solely funded. Mm -hmm. I used to fund it. Now um, I plan ahead. Yeah. So if I if the accommodation is going to cost me let's say five hundred cities, I plan like at least two a month yeah. ahead so that I could um, budget that place. And sometimes I also do a lot of research um, about the place, how much is how much exactly. I'm going to spend before yeah. I take a trip. Now God being so good because of the numbers, when I go and I say, oh, I have a YouTube channel. I'm going to advertise something now. Yeah. I get the place for free. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. It's not all the time. It's not everywhere that's everywhere. Like, yeah. Yeah. And Ghanaians are now coming to understand that okay. Uh, from advertising yeah. the place. So, yeah, it's um it's as and when. Yeah. But usually there's a lot of planning that goes. Even though some of them are very spontaneous and just um all of a sudden. But even though sometimes most of them are yeah, uh, like yeah, they're okay. Like yeah. Really um, I could play before. But I yeah. think that that's quite important that you have to prepare yeah. before because if you don't prepare, you go. It's extra cost. It's extra because cost. when I first started, the times when I would just spontaneously say I'm going to Western Region or whatever, yeah. and then you think, oh no, I didn't budget. So this is costing me more than yeah. it should. And then usually, if I also let's say I I, I usually like to live within my budget. I don't like to exceed it. Yeah. So. If I can't afford it, I will you go for go. something yeah. cheaper. Yeah, I yeah. Go for, I always go for something cheaper, and then take opportunity to do a lot while yeah. I'm there. Yeah, exactly. Just to kill. Yeah. You kill one, and, you and then kill you don't know exactly. Exactly. Stone. Yeah. Because even with a low budget, yeah. there are still, you know, some really really good things that you can do. Yeah. yeah. It's not just about the amount of money that you know you spend on. You know, on a place where yeah. there are cheaper, you know, more lower prices or places that you can go to, you know, still have fun, you know. So while we're talking about YouTube, what made you start YouTube? Okay, so I always I, want to know what made you start YouTube because Charlie, it's not easy. It's not, oh my hey, dear! Now we'll come to that later. So it's all started. Okay, so I I like. My ass, I, I can't sit my ass down for a very long no. time. No, I get bored. Easy. And so it all started when I was in school. We usually used to go to class like Monday to Wednesday, Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's like we are free. And so I used to take opportunity to see new places in Africa, mm. in Ghana. And then that's how it all started because I like nature. I like to see new things. Yeah. I like to try new things. Yeah. So that's how it all started. Yeah. Then when I do and I post on social media, on Instagram and on Facebook, I used to get a lot of um, interaction. Oh, Stella, please, where is it? How can I go then? How much did it cost you? So I was like, oh right, okay, I'm giving free information. Mm -hmm. Why not start a YouTube channel? Even at the time when I started the YouTube channel, I didn't even know anything about YouTube. All I knew was um, 
just post the content for the, the fun of it. Yeah. yeah. So it was it was more of just for fun. Yeah. Initially. And, yeah. And when I posted, I used to get a lot of requests. Oh, thank you so much for posting this. Thank you so much for the information. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. it's good. Oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. People like the um, the videos. Yeah. So that was what encouraged me to continue. Yeah. Posting. Yeah. Now she's booming, guys. If you guys On know Stella, image, go check her out. Oh, more to come. <laughs> more to come, crap. So how long have you been on YouTube now? Okay, um, I've been on YouTube three years, exactly. Yeah. Wow, yes. really? Yes. Yeah. Because the last few months, the last yeah. year or so, is when it started picking up. Picking like, up. Yeah. yeah. Because I saw your numbers was going up. I was like, yo, yeah. she's doing something, you know, amazing. About three years. That's that's really good. Mm. But it's not easy. It's not. Let's no, come to let, not like, easy part. Yeah. Let let nobody lie to you. No, it's no, no, not. No, no. So when people see what they see online, they're like, no. oh, Stella is having fun. Stella, they will do mm. So you go to a place and instead of maybe relaxing, you can't relax. You're yeah. working because you have to still take videos of the place. And until you get the shots you want, you won't feel satisfied. So it actually works. The only time you get is when you are done with everything and you want to just relax. Even when the food comes, you, you are still, still want to take <laughs> and, you know, yeah. and you still want to share your experience. Yeah. And so it's not easy. And there are days that you are not in the mood. Mm -hmm. Probably PMS. Oh. Your 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 hormones are all over the place. But Jelly. then you find yourself somewhere. You are like, nah. You have to do. You have to do it. Yeah. So it's not easy, but um, that shouldn't um, discourage you if you also want to. That content creation. It's it is fun, but it is work. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You have just to. as you treat your exactly your your work. Yeah, it's it's exactly how you treat. Yeah, you treat. yeah. I think you have to love what you are doing. That's yeah. one thing. And also you have to make time as well. Yeah. When I first started, I didn't realize yeah. how bad and how much time you need. I think the editing is also on the editing. You need taking the videos is not that. Of the work, no. It's a sitting down, sitting down to edit because it takes like three hours to finish one Eight. video. Anything that, and then I'm sometimes, it. yeah, sometimes you have to continue the next day. Yeah. Then now internet, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> it is just as she was complaining. Oh, she was like, "Can I internet?" Yeah. yeah. Oh no no no! You're halfway through and it's like freeze time, okay. and then you have to keep. It's, it's a lot of work. We are not discouraging you, but make sure you have enough time. Make sure you have, you have patience, you know, to be able to do um, to do all of that. Yeah. Um, so, what would be your favorite place? You know, Ghana people think this is a village or nothing interesting about Ghana, but there are some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful places in Ghana, and there are places outside of Accra. Yeah, yeah. yeah like beautiful places outside of Accra, Western, Eastern, Volta, wherever, um, that we don't get to see a lot of. And our missus has been to a lot of these places. And I want to ask her which region would be your favorite by Oh, I always say it's on my, you know, my channel, <laughs> the Volta region. Yeah. The Volta right. region, when you, when you even Google, What's the least visitors uh, visited country uh, region in Ghana? Mm. Volta region pops up. Really? That's the least visited uh, region. It's very beautiful, very peaceful. Mm. The food is good, definitely. But then, few people visit it, visit the Volta region because probably there are very few tourist attraction and yeah. uh, places there. But then, guys, please try the Volta region. The beaches are very clean. Yeah. The, from Keta Street right to the end of the, the the beaches are so clean. Very clean. The food is delicious. Delicious. The people are welcoming. And if you're a man and you're looking for a woman, hey. please <laughs> head to the water <laughs> region to get your. Yeah. It's okay. Please head to the water region and go get your water region sauce because. Once you start with an ever girl, mm -hmm. there's no turning back. Exactly. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Oh, I didn't say that. I keep telling you guys to go to Volta Region. You, you think yes. that I'm being biased. I'm not being then, biased. All of you in the diaspora looking for wives, <laughs> please, our husbands, mm -hmm. come, come, come. 
come, come to the hotel. Come, to, come to Ghana. In fact, come to Ghana first. Exactly. And come and explore. Explore. You want more? Go to the hotel. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I, I'm sure they'll come and don't go back again. Uh, you see? Yeah. That's why you're coming back. <laughs> That's why I don't want to go back. <laughs> I think the second is also the the Western region. Yeah. The Western region is another beautiful region. There's a region. lot of places. Wow. Yes. Wow, the, the the beaches. Mm. The beaches is just like if you want to see the turquoise blue mm. color of the Atlantic Ocean, come to the Western Region. That also one is a blue moon. Blue moon, yes. The Axim stretch from Axim oh. right down to everywhere is just. Ghana and I mean, mm. the north. Let's talk about the people. Yeah. People also don't talk about the north, north much, much. Mm-hmm. but True. the north has a lot a to lot. offer. Yeah, like yeah. apart from. Going in the dry season and the weather, my dear. Hey, hey, mm. the northness to tell you. Yeah. When you come to the north, there's no turning back. back. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The north do have a lot of places. That one is true. Yeah, it's true. But the full tattoo, yeah, you guys should go. There's the monkey sanctuary, there's the waterfalls, the beach, there's quite amazing things. You can do skiing on the beach, there's a lot of lot of places and things that you can do, you know. Yeah. So there's more life outside of Accra. You don't oh, have to yes. stay in the city. Ghana too. is not just Accra. Accra. Yeah. Like if you want to see you know, the most beautiful places are usually outside Accra. Yeah. 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 So whenever you're in Ghana, please don't stay just yeah. in Accra. Yeah. yeah. Take uh, a bus, take a flight, and visit any other region. And I promise you, you won't. Uh, yeah. You won't regret it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So while we're talking about um, Stella's YouTube, you also do a 95 job. Yes. How do you combine oh, them? <laughs> this is a super, super strong woman, guys. It's she not does easy. it all. Like, <laughs> okay, do it so all. Mm, my 95, it's um, we manage a commercial building, so it's not everyday stress. No, yes. So no. Um, usually my travels are for weekends. I try and create as many content as possible. Then I use. The weekdays to edit it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Have a nine to five, and yeah, they, they are the busy days. Yeah. And they are like not so busy days. So I use I take opportunity of the not so busy days, and also when I get home, I try and get home early and then quickly put the videos together. So, yeah. 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 That one, that's what I'm finding so difficult. Editing and putting things together. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! You have to have the motivation. You have to have mm-hmm. the love for what you do. Mm-hmm. So, what would be the strangest food like you've ever tasted? Strangest food? Are you that adventurous where you like? I to am taste very yes. Foods? I'm so adventurous that I I don't think any other food is strange because once people eat it and nothing happens to them, I don't mind trying. Yeah. If it gives me stomach upset, I mean, I I just um, tell myself probably I'm not used to it or it's an acquired taste. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't think I'll have English strange food. No. But I am I am very open. Yeah. And I have an African stomach. <laughs> so it's solid. Solid. And take anything. Because I was talking anything. to one of the YouTubers who mm-hmm. tasted a bowl. Yeah. You know, in like, Kenya. Hey, for me, I can't do it. It was nice. Have you tried um, <laughs> crocodile? Yeah. yeah. How was, was that? How was that like? It was delicious. It was, yeah. it, was, it was salty. I don't know if that's how they prepare it. But you see, Goat meat, you see in the back of the goat, mm. that smell. Oh. It has some smell. Be I don't know oh, how to. Okay. I can't. I can't compare it to any other meat. No. The meat is on its own. It um. It tastes a bit, a bit of fish, a bit of chicken. You oh, see, okay. um, cassava fish. You yeah, see yeah, how yeah, cassava yeah, fish yeah, yeah, tastes yeah. like chicken yeah. in the way. Yeah. Similar to that. Oh. It has a unique, a unique kind of taste. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So, would you say you have? Uh, an embarrassing story that you know because you've traveled so many places. Yeah. Is there anything embarrassing that you would? You know, story so I have that two. You have, yeah. My my two embarrassing story was when I I went to Kenya and I lost my phone on the Ow, second. I wanted to ask you that. I was like, no, I almost cried on the second day. Hey, if that was my guys, if you haven't seen that video, go and see it. I was so did you lose it? Or I did just it. No, so it. I had a backpack and then. I didn't know how, but it looks like in the middle of the street they cut my bag, and then they so took someone it out. stole it. They stole it. Mm. I was so devastated. I, I would like, have cried. My second day in the country. Oh, 
I was so I was so sad. So, so they had all your moments. videos and pictures and things on there. Yeah, the good parts because I filmed with the GoPro, I still had my YouTube videos. Yeah. But the pictures I had taken the day before, I had lost everything. I was so sad. Oh. I, I, was, I was I was looking at your face. I was like, oh, this guy was here. I would have been I, crying I, by now. I couldn't credit the, the tears. The were not coming. I was like, <laughs> what? 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 What's happening? going on? And if you could tell from my purse, they even slashed my purse. So wow. I, I was even lucky they didn't carry my purse. Crazy. That's one, and then the second one in Bali where I nearly drowned in the what in, in a waterfall. So that's also another. I would wow. say um, it's more than embarrassing if yeah. I should say because I nearly lost my life that time. Wow. Can you and swim though? Or? Yes, I could swim out of nowhere. I don't know how the currents just kept pushing me oh. into the rocks, wow. and the the sound of the waterfall was so loud that. Help, 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 nobody's help, nobody's hearing. Nobody was there. No, my, my friend was there. So if I didn't need my friend signaling other people, I don't wow. know what would have happened that yeah. day. But thank be to God, I'm here. So wow. Those are the two most That's embarrassing. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, solo traveling or group traveling? Do you, um, do you travel in a group as well? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. do solo, I do. Which one do you prefer? Um, group is fun. Yeah. Group is fun. You get to take pictures yeah. and feel you have company. Solo is also better. I mean because less stress. Um you go to do what you have to do alone and then no you don't have to wait for anyone. Yeah. So I think both it depends on the situation. Yeah. If it's outside the country usually uh, group trips are fun. If it's in Ghana I mean solo it's okay. It's my home country so yeah 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 there's still you know, places to explore so yeah so what what was the best lesson that you've learned through traveling like is there any tips for anyone uh traveling around okay um, so one of the best lessons i've also learned is um until you've experienced it don't judge exactly see people talk about people talk about a lot of things but they are sharing their opinions based on what people say. Yeah. But then when you experience it, it's different. You have your own story to you tell. You have your own story to tell. Yeah. There is something unique about traveling that you learn. You learn a lot. Like yeah. You learn so much that you wouldn't have imagined learning such little little things. You yeah. see it somewhere, you're like, oh, I remember this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, can't, it, it rings a bell. Mm -hmm. You get it. So, um, 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 it's traveling. And it's it broadens your mindset. Yeah. It's um, you get to see places, yes, so and then you get to understand people. And it's also fun. I yeah. mean, even though it's not, it's not really a lesson, but it's fun. You get to meet new people. Yeah, which is and also the different thing. cultures. Because cultures. every region is, yes. you know, has yes. their own culture. Yes. Yes. So it's good to, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So the last question I have, I saved this for the last, last, last. Okay. What like are you? Do you have the Ewe heritage? Like Ewe heritage? Yes. Do you, so are you like half? No, I am full, but my name. Okay, so I am I am hundred percent Ewe. Okay. But my side name is Sabuki, and Sabuki is an Ada name. So my dad used to say that you know his Ada, his great great grandfather, it's from Ada, but the settled in the Volta region. Oh, wow. So okay. the Volta region is home to them. Mm -hmm. So we are from the Volta region. But um, if you hear my name Sabuki, yeah. you might think as though I am an Adan. Okay, yeah. So, Adan, what are they? Are they Gaon? Yes, yeah. They are in Accra, so they are Gaon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wow. So guys, she's... <laughs> so I'm Ewe. I'm free. She's Ewe. I didn't know that until like a few months ago. She's Ewe. But guys, she doesn't speak. You don't speak Ewe. I speak. Hey, she speaks her well. Yes. Hey, this one you have to speak something. I speak everything. Uh -huh. yes. So lucky like, for one of one. <laughs> I didn't think she'd be able to speak. Oh, yeah. guys, that's amazing. Two by four. Two by four. Two by four. Yeah. Okay. So what about the dancing? Do you do the hair yeah. dance? No, I, 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 I No, I suck don't at really. dancing. No. My I need dance lessons in my life. Dance lesson. We have to yeah. take her out somewhere, play music, and see how she does with the yeah. dancing. Well, guys, I can't believe she's everywhere. She speaks. You know, I always thought you were. I don't know. I think because everyone is chewy and girl, I always, mm -hmm. you know, just assumed 
you know, wow, that's amazing. So she's from the Volta region. She's been to the Volta region. She's saying, come. Several times. Over, va. Va. Come. Ah. Eh, hey, come. Let's go. Come. Mamijo. Mamijo. That's right. Hey, from now on, I'll speak, I'll speak a word to you. No more English. I'm not pretty. <laughs> So I'll speak away to you. Wow, guys, if you have any more questions for Stella, drop it in the description box below. It's been amazing. I have a lot of questions, but food is here, so I'm gonna cut it short. Dig in. <laughs> Going to dig in some proper local dish over here. Uh, but if you have, honestly, if you haven't followed or subscribed to Stella's channel, she is Stella Chanel. Uh -huh. Come today, we are back again, Chale family. That's it, back again, Chale family. That's the slogan. <laughs> so, yeah, go follow her, go subscribe. She has a lot of videos for you guys. I love the one with the palm, palm wine. Palm wine. Wow, amazing video. There's a lot of things there for you to watch. So, please do subscribe and go follow, like, comment, share, and hopefully, we'll be back again. Uh, stay blessed and see you soon. Peace Ciao. Out.